Welcome again to this month's AAPA Quick Case. My name is Aaron Bright from Hippo Education and the AAPA Pants Panel Review. The idea behind the Quick Case is to give you a case-based board review style question and see if we can learn a little bit. I have lots of friends with me. I have John Maybe. Hi there. We have Kim Kasten and Jill Tanner, our resident PAs in studio. Thanks for coming. Thanks, Aaron. We have Thank Tom Wilson, creative director and non-medical, and you won't hear anything from him. Nope. And do you want to take this question? Should we take the question? All right, let's get to the question. A 52-year-old woman comes to the office for her yearly checkup. She has been well since her last visit for a pap smear one year ago and has no complaints. She has no medical conditions. She does not take any medications. Both of her parents are alive and well, and there is no family history of any medical condition. This woman is perfect. She has never smoked a cigarette and drinks a half a glass of wine daily with dinner for the past three years. She still owns her own realty business, where she has been working for the past 20 years, and her last menstrual period was 14 months ago. In this patient with average risk factors, who is likely Hillary Clinton, no? All right, just checking. Really? No, maybe not. She fits not quite fit. At 52? Okay. No, that's right, yeah. In this patient with average risk factors, which of the following routine cancer screening tests is most appropriate for this patient's age? So with this kind of question, we can think about what our screening guidelines are for a person that presents like this, a 52-year-old woman, and we can kind of get a, you know, an idea of what we're looking for. But otherwise, you're going to want to kind of roll through the question, uh, the uh, answer choices. So let's roll those through those, uh, John. You have any yeah, so let's take a look at these. So A is cancer an antigen, or CA-125. All right. B is endometrial biopsy, mm -hmm. C, mammography, D, transvaginal ultrasound, and E, yearly pap and human papilloma virus testing. All right. So any, uh, any, any guesses we have there? We might just roll through them. So cancer, CA-125. Do we need to do that in this person? We don't use that for yeah. screening. That's not right. We so it's not for screening. Guy. She has mm -hmm. no uh, past history of any cancer no or in her family cancer. either. She's actually perfect. She yeah. should be breeded, and uh, we should make lots of humans just like her. <laughs> Endometrial biopsy. <laughs> Well, she's not bleeding or spotting. She, she yeah. is post-menopausal. You're she... allowed to be menopausal, right? I don't have to go and like, do tests. It's, it's possible that you could right. be menopausal and yes. that could be normal. Sure. Mammography. She's a woman over 50. Isn't there she? There you go. Though? Transvaginal ultrasound. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know yeah. why. Yearly pap and HPV testing for somebody who's 52. No. no. She's right. had normal pap in the past. Right? Right. So I think we're pretty much going with mammography here. We agree with that? Absolutely. Sounds good. Let's check ourselves here. We look at mammography. We scroll up and check our answer. And we are correct. As All always, right. you're going to have some correct answer explanations as well as yep. some information on the other choices and the other foils. So this is a pretty typical question. And John, anything else we want to talk about how you approach a question like this? Yeah, I don't think so. It's just really a matter of knowing the guidelines yep. you know, for what, what's indicated. So again, this is taking a look at all the information that's in the test item, not reading into it, mm -hmm. not kind of conjuring up in your mind some right. other kind of alternative pathway in terms of what the answer ought to be. You know, go with what's presented. Go with what's presented. And, and know your cancer screening guidelines. Know your that's cancer important. screening guidelines mm -hmm. and go with your gut. So that's a good one. I appreciate you watching. That's it for this month's AAPA Quick Case. Thanks to everybody for being here. Thanks, Aaron. Thank you. And we will see you next time. Bye for now.